The question is, does psychiatry medicalize ordinary life? That's the phrase used by Dr. Alan Francis, who is the editor of the DSM-4. In other words, does it take usual suffering and turn it into a disease? Well, Dr. Francis would say it's a multi-step process. First of all, there's perpetual diagnostic expansion by psychiatrists who are always increasing their categories. For instance, grief in the DSM-5 is now just considered part of depression. Pharma is waiting on the sidelines to market their compounds into an ever wider market, and so they try to take advantage of all these new disorders. And they market this directly to patients and to doctors and offer the cure. So then when a patient with normal suffering goes to see a doctor and gets put on a medication because of a diagnosis and gets better, then everyone says, hey, the medication made you better. This new disease must be real. Essentially, diagnostic expansion leads to diagnostic misuse, which leads to medication overuse in the view of Francis. So does this picture withstand scrutiny? Let's take a closer look. So the first thing we need to ask ourselves, are psychiatric diagnoses expanding? Well, the DSM-4, which was edited by Francis, had 172 disorders when you exclude the unspecified diseases. DSM-5, opposed by Francis, actually only has 152 disorders when you exclude the unspecified categories. So, how about diagnostic labels? Are they being misused? Well, in a 2006-7 Medicare study, 58 million people who went for mental health visits 92% of them were given only one of 10 diagnoses. So then, all right, uh, are psychiatric medications being overused to the point where really what we're seeing is just the placebo response? In 2012, some authors published in the British Journal of Psychiatry looking at this very question, and so they said, well, how does the use of psychiatric medication compare with general medical medication? Medical treatments, they looked at 94 meta-analyses of 48 drugs used in 20 different diseases. Psychiatric medications, they looked at 33 meta-analyses of 16 drugs in 8 disorders. Well, those disorders were pretty standard. Schizophrenia, uh, bipolar disorder, there was major depression on the list, both the acute and the maintenance phases, counting for two disorders. Obsessive compulsive disorder, panic disorder, uh, Alzheimer's disease, and the modern bugaboo ADHD. So they looked at the effect size, which is how much of an effect or difference does the treatment make in a condition compared to placebo, which has some sort of effect. Well, medical drugs had a, an effect size of 0.45, which is considered moderate statistically. Psychiatric drugs had a 0.49. For comparison, if 49% of people responded to a placebo, that means 68% would respond to the psychiatric treatment. It's like going from an F to a C plus in terms of a grade. So is there diagnostic expansion? Well, with a loss of 20 diseases, seems not to be the case. Is there diagnostic misuse? Well, if only 10 disorders were used for 92% of 58 million people, that doesn't seem pretty plausible either. Is there medication overuse? Well, the effect size of psychiatric medications is greater than for general medication. So sorry, Dr. Francis, you're simply wrong in the facts.